in this video, we are going to see how to take the data you have here available in your database using the Astra data stacks and how to consume that using a Node.js client like we have here a client programming in Node.js and then in which we can run that and as output we can see here the same data available because it was read from the client. If you want to know details about how to perform this stuff, let's that now. To connect with your client your data stack server, you have to click here in this connect tab. Once you have done that, you can first generate your credentials, your token. You have to click here to create a new token. And then you have to choose a few options. Okay, one of these options here is the role. There is a, a several kinds of roles. You could choose here with your only read write administrator. Okay, if you are starting with that now, just for testing purpose, you could begin with administrator access to have less chance of access rights problems. But later on, you could use the minimal necessary access for your purpose. Also selecting here uh, an account, like here, read on, if you would like to. Here it shows the access you have. Just create here in generate token. And this information here, you will need to connect with your client. It's one step, okay? You just copy that to your computer, not this one, of course, but in your own environment. And then you have to do one second stuff. That is, let's return to the, to the database itself. Okay, it's here where we were, the connect tab, you generate the credentials, and then you have to generate the bundle. The bundle basically is a, a zip file. You have to make a reference in your client. So basically here you have to select your, your region, and then you can download that. That will be a um, zip file, okay? Containing a several, several, documents necessary for this connection to happen, right? So once you have these stuff, we can go to the connection itself from the client. Programming a client to connect in DataStax Astra is not a difficult stuff because we have several examples here, examples that the own platform showed to us. Look here. We can, we are still in the connect tab. You can hear choose you want to connect with drivers, that's our case. The language you want to, our case is Node.js, and then it already provides to you the how-to, the dependencies and some code template. But sometimes it's not so easy to replace these stuff here. So I, I'm going to show to you right now my example, okay? So here I have copied this code, of course, like you will do, or you could take this code directly. These credentials here don't worry to copy because it's already deleted when this video is going to be published. Uh, so basically what we have here, let me try to put here more zoom in this code, and then we could, could improve the readability of that. Okay, here we have the credentials. And here we need to import the dependencies. This dependence here, we need to install with the npm install as it show in the page. Here we have the zip file you need to download and set that in this case in the same directory I have the code. So this here is really the path to the zip file. And in this case, the zip file is exactly in the same directory this source code is, okay? Then we have here this simple code here that's the code we are going to perform the select. Okay, in this case, this is my table, a table I have created uh, using the CKL directly in, in cloud. And here, just some hints I have done to display that as a table in the console. So this code here give to me the, the purpose for, for printing the output as a table in here in client, right? So here, as you can see, we have the table and all the data we have selected from Cassandra, the connection was established, right? So hope this code helped you, okay? I have set this code 
available to be downloaded in the video description with a GitHub link. Thank you for watching, and if this video has helped you, please subscribe.